Hello traders and welcome to the Forex Boat Trade Setups. In this video we will be looking at the opportunity for the Euro versus the Canadian dollar. We will analyze the currency pair, we'll see the price action on different time frames and we will try to have a trade setup. Please note that all the trade setups that we're sharing is exactly what we are having in our premium signals group the link for which you can find down in the description below this video. And if you want to see more of these examples, click the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified of all the videos as soon as they come. Now I'm starting with the daily time frame because it shows the direction of the market, the overall direction. And what we can see is that price remains above the 200 exponential moving average, which is in blue color. In red color, it is a 50 exponential moving average. So these are the two moving averages that I use on all my analysis. Not always, but I do look at what they show. Of course, we will be using the trend lines to see what is going on. So let's start with the simple support trend line. So I'm connecting these two lows and we see that the support has been rejected. And today this spike I do like how price rejected it and today produced a spike. It's like a stop loss kick out move. It just looks that way. And from this point onwards, there could be a corrective move to the upside. The other thing to consider is the rejection of the 50 moving average. And this means that there could be a consolidation going on, which also provides an opportunity because now we are kind of at the bottom of this consolidation. If I just go to the forward time frame, you can see that this is the bottom and this is the top and we could expect the price to continue rising towards the top. Another thing is we could, for example, use multiple trend lines. Well, here we, we clearly see the support. It's a double bottom or triple bottom, whichever you want to call it. Now, maybe another trend line which shows us the breakout of this kind of triangle. Yet again, we see that it shows us triangle breakout and potential uptrend continuation maybe. Maybe this was the corrective move to the downside before the price continues the long-term uptrend. Now let's add another trend line, perhaps the average price trend line. So connecting this high, this clearly is a massive resistance. And I'm connecting the high of this resistance with the support, previously formed support. And yet again, we see the rejection. Well, on the daily time frame, it seems like it did close to the downside, but I always look at the weekly chart as well, because different time frames provide different perspective, price perspective. So here we're still kind of spiking down and you can see even now on the daily time frame, 50 moving average is being rejected. So on the weekly, we are clearly extremely bullish and uh, on the smaller time frame, this is kind of side sideways moves that I would expect. Now let's see on the lower time frames, for example, one hour chart, like here we can apply another trend line and this could be our upside target. So this could be the level when the price will be going. For example, here we can see the rejection of the 200 exponential moving average right there. So this is clearly a resistance level. Now let's apply some FIPS to this analysis. In regards to the FIPS, there probably no need to go too far back to the history, but use the last waves because they still hold a lot of information. For example, which waves we can see the last two waves. Obviously, this would be two corrective waves to the upside, one and two. So I'm going to be using FIPS to apply to these waves. So we have one FIPS and let's have another FIPS. Right, two FIPS. Now, the interesting thing is that we have two FIPS at this same price. Let me just clean it up so you can clearly see it. Right, so this is our resistance, which is 154.94. And interesting thing now, here was the rejection of this resistance previously. The price spiked. And here is the interesting thing that here was the previous rejection of this resistance, basically price bounced off the 50 exponential moving average and then it acted as the support again. So this is supply demand zone and this is what we're looking for. This is the potential upside target. Now here is the resistance that we were spoken about previously and it's kind of close to the target that we're looking for. 
so there could be spike produced to hit this resistance level let's probably go to the four hour chart so now let's apply for example rci because you can see lower lows are being printed and we should always check whether the, there is a bullish or bearish divergence so i'm, I'm gonna use rci because this is indicator that i like you can use cci or for example macd so here what we have is a bullish divergence yet again a very good sign because it shows that there is some buying pressure price went lower although rci didn't produce a new lower low and this is quite a good bullish price action in my opinion now you might have different views of course but i'm just sharing the way i am analyzing this so now let's move to the lower time frame to see whether we should be entering or not now in order to draw a trend line i could be using this high and the last point here uh, where the price went lower so this is clearly a resistance area for the euro canadian because there is a moving average on the 15 minute chart and the trend line but considering that 15 minute chart is not that common it's not always the best to look at it although it should be considered definitely so the safest approach would be to wait for the break above these resistances but will we get a good risk to reward ratio if with price will be that high no we probably won't because we need our stop loss below this level so the entry should be lower now what i'm gonna use is a fib simple fibs applied to the last wave to the downside from here to here we can see that 61 broken we can see that price basically breaking the fibs all the fibs is going up now let's apply fibs to this overall move to the downside just gonna clean it up remove that fibs and here 23.6 has been also broken next resistance at 38.2 so ideally of course our entry should have been upon the break above and on this corrective move now also we can use for example one minute time frame the lower time frames to spot support resistance look guys we can see that this is supply demand zone and this is where price could be uh, correcting down and this is the area of demand so why not to buy at this area if price gets there this is one of the approaches another approach is to calculate whether you still can enter the trade whether it still could be providing a good risk to reward ratio applying a, yet again a simple trend line on the one minute chart this time and we can see price continues to reject the trend line so this seems like a good opportunity since there was a rejection and this level became the support because it was a resistance new higher high and this is now the support perhaps price will get back there but let's see if we currently can calculate it to our advantage with a good risk to reward ratio if we enter at this price right now place our take profit at the FIPS that we had previously okay so we are back to our trade setup and as you can see price has reached our upside target the resistance which was confirmed by 2 FIPS 61.8 and 78.6 now there was some consolidation prior to the price moving up although we still reached the resistance and price went actually even higher so what that could mean is the further uptrend perhaps price will continue going even further after it will reject the potentially this support but of course this is a done trade we had the 1.66 risk to reward ratio not the best one but not the worst one especially considering that the trend was fast so we reached this target yet another perfect trade example and guys all these trade examples is what we sent to our subscribers at the premium signals channel the link you can find for it in the description of this video and if you enjoy these trade setups and analysis for this currency pair smash that like button and of course don't forget to subscribe to our channel to support it and not to miss any of the future trade examples that we're doing every single week thank you for watching and till next trade example